time management. In this session, you will determine the reasons for effective time management, explore a variety of time management techniques, discover ways to find more time, understand the importance of time management as it applies to learning. So let's look at the many reasons why we should be managing our time very carefully. Primarily, it's so that we can make informed choices about our day, our week, our month, our year, our decade, our lifetime, so that we can allow ourselves the opportunities to do all the things we want or need to do. Skills development requires a great deal of brain power as well as practice if we are to develop competence and if we only ever allocate just about enough time to skills development then we will only ever just about get enough success. Each individual only gets 24 hours in each day and that's every single one of us. That's what we get, yet some are incredibly successful at what they do, others not. And yet the main difference between the achiever and the underachiever is how they manage their time. It's up to us to manage our time as effectively as possible if we want to make the most of our lives. When we're under pressure, it is for most of us impossible to think straight. We may have focus in that some people find that pressure facilitates their performance, but for most of us, the ability to perform complex tasks eludes us when we are under pressure and needing a clear mind or the most brain space as we can get for quality thinking. If we are constantly worrying in the background that we can't possibly apply ourselves, then you can't possibly apply yourself or your full potential to that complex task requiring focus. Others set schedules. If we don't manage our time, then it's very difficult to consistently fit in with the schedules that others have set for us. Missed opportunities will be at play here, although having poor time keeping will surely give those we let down the opportunity to write us off as a waste of time. The most proficient time keepers among us are intolerant and will simply move on. In terms of health, chronic fatigue can develop from poor time management and even a state of very mild exhaustion can inhibit you from normal everyday tasks. That's without even having paid work to do that we need to apply ourselves competently to. Eustress versus distress was introduced as a concept in the 1930s by endocrinologist Hans Seeley, who was a prolific scientific investigator and writer in his lifetime. He certainly must have had a, an amazing time management program. He advocated that some stress was healthy, similar to what we experience in a fitness or conditioning program, in that the body adapts by becoming physically better able to cope with greater exertion. If not carried out carefully with adequate rest periods, both short and longer term, the body soon becomes distressed and ill health can follow. With the constant stress that comes with living in a state of emergency and trying to keep up, the fight or flight mechanism is at play and that was for survival. It evolved as a temporary measure to assist the body in coping with survival by facilitating the physical means to escape from it. But we never evolved to live in a constant state of feeling like we have to flee from danger and these mechanisms never evolved to hold us there indefinitely and healthily. It's therefore a real health risk if we spend our days feeling endangered and with the feeling of needing to run away from our situations. 
If we can manage our time carefully, we can avoid those distressing and time-wasting episodes of low mood and guilt. And they really are emotionally harmful over time. And you can almost get locked into these episodes. Or for example, feeling guilty about not phoning that close friend or relative, or perhaps not spending enough time walking the dog or being with our horse. It can be upsetting. We owe it to others to manage our time well so that we can give to others what they need in the same way that they would give to us if we had a need. And for the vulnerable, such as the horse in the picture, who is dependent on us, our time management schedule should not deprive them of full and proper care when they have no choice but to be dependent on us and to be waiting for us to provide them with what they need. Better to manage your time effectively than to perpetrate a lifestyle of low mood. We're social beings and we flourish with close contact of family, friends, our animals. We need to manage our time so that we fit contact with them in, to spend quality time with them and not just fleeting flying visits that just about give them only the bare minimum or so we think. It gives a very poor impression to others when we can't manage our time very well, especially in a work environment where we're always busy but panicking about our workload and meeting deadlines, always offering elaborate excuses as to why we haven't done something, why we're just so busy or why we've let people down because of being ill prepared. And that gives a really bad impression and one perhaps where on a personal level, the person is always late or manages their time poorly, just doesn't seem to care enough to do anything about it. And recall, as I said earlier, we all only have 24 hours in the day. It's annoying, it's frustrating and deeply disrespectful when it's never ending. Some people make a career of it. Opportunities. If we don't manage our time effectively, we could miss out on the big opportunities circulating out there while our minds are filled with deadlines and with no space to spot those opportunities or consider them very carefully when they do surface or present. Just as importantly, we need to be available for opportunities when they come knocking. It's cost effective to manage our time. Getting lost during a car journey, for example, means a lot of wasted fuel over a year as well as time. And just taking a few minutes to plan your journeys and your meetings can save you money. We can create more work time if we are resourceful, reaching even more animals in the working year. We can create more leisure time if we are resourceful. Balance is the key word in work-life balance. And if we don't have enough leisure, our ability to work efficiently will suffer. And if we don't have enough work to occupy us, we won't know how to get the full benefit of full quality leisure time. And we just won't appreciate it. We won't know what it is. It feels so good to be stress-free. Of the tasks you get done far in advance of them being due, this feeling really is a strong boost on many psychological levels. We can achieve our goals if we apply time management to them. Goals that are meaningful to us and that would not be achievable without us managing our time adequately. Wasting time is wasteful on many levels. It can enhance feelings of confidence when you feel you have the means to achieve by managing your time. It is deeply self-affirming when we believe that we can achieve the goals that we set for ourselves. If stress is the fight or flight trigger, then self-affirmation, feeling that we can truly defend ourselves, is the opposite end of the stress spectrum. 
And practicing good time management will feed back to our subconscious mind that with organization, we can achieve anything we set our minds to. A final point on this, we should live our lives to the full. It's very upsetting when you might not be as able-bodied as you used to be, but could have regrets about what you should have done when you were in a position to achieve. You've had dreams and aspirations, but don't have the mental or physical capacity or can't implement the steps needed to make your life more meaningful and to give others and all the animals that depend on you to act on their behalf and which you plan to give to. Try telling a Paralympian to their face that you aren't capable of achieving the most basic of tasks. They have somehow worked out that it's just our minds that hold us back. So adopting good time management principles means that you really are doing the best you can to give the best you can. In the next session, we will cover time management techniques.